What's going on guys, my name is Fusion Beat and in today's video we will be unboxing the Philips Hue bridge for Philips Hue lights. So let's get right into it. In front of me I have the box so let's take a look at it. We have the image of the bridge itself, some branding, Hue, works for Philips Hue and that's it. At the side we can see what this thing supports so works with Apple HomeKit, works with Nest, works with SmartThings, etc. And also it got a design award in 2016. At the back we have some features and have to set it up and what it connects with so Philips Hue, Hue Wi-Fi, Hue bulbs, etc. And at the side also we have some specs, add up to 50 lights, and more so let's open this bad boy up all right let me get my hand then knife cut off the plastic over here all righty let's open this bad boy up Pulling up the top bit and the size as well. Here we can see our Apple HomeKit code, which we will use later on. So here is inside the box. Let's take out the bridge itself first. Here it is, the Philips Hue bridge at the back. Take it out the plastic. We have our code at the back as well. A Philips button at the front and our ports DC in and local area network Ethernet ports. The other parts of the box. We got our power brick with the cable DC in. And lastly the Ethernet cable to connect to your router which is nice that they've included this cable so you don't have to buy it somewhere else so setting this up we need the two things the power brick with the cable and the Philips U itself and also we have to take out the cable ties before we start all right we got the cable ties out, let's first plug in the Philips U. It's a little bit hard to record with one hand and plug stuff in with one hand. So I'm really sorry for that, but let's just continue. Plug in the Philips U itself here, the wall. Alright, good. And here we can see that the LD, the power LD has lit up and the other two as well. And also the Ethernet cable, if you have to connect that to our router. So let's do that as well. Alright, so I just plugged in the cable and we can see the Ethernet part lighting up and also the network. So here on my phone we will set the Philips Hue up. So we can see on my widgets or you have to first download Philips Hue the app on your App Store or Play Store. And then when you enter it, it will search for Hue Bridges. So we have to wait for that and when it says push the link you have to go and press the button on the Philips Hue bridge so then you can connect link up and then you can continue what you're doing 
all right so I just press the button connect it and we have to wait for this to update I'll catch you guys when the update is finished so the update is nearly done and successfully installed let's just press done over here and then we'll be good so after we press done we'll try as HomeKit and Siri we have to turn our Bluetooth as well and then pair bridge press my home all right and then it will want us to scan the code on the box that we saw before or behind the Philips Hue bridge itself so let's just get the code here and it's added connected so here we are and we can tap the plus button to add any lights so if you press that we can press search and I have Philips Hue LEDs that I unboxed on the channel before so and here it is it's so the hue light strip plus one here you can name it or delete it I'll just leave it as hue light strip plus room and it's added So then you can press next at the right top part, right corner, right top corner. Just these are the naming parts, just name my room or anything you want, doesn't really matter. I'll just put it as my bedroom. Next, press next as well, and then save it, and you're done. So here you can turn off the lights if you have more than one you can turn off or turn on all the lights here you can change the color more than 60 million colors any color you want we are the whites the warm and the cool over here nice stuff and receipt so you have relax read concentrate and then rise so different lights and just moving around seeing how the lights looks pretty cool stuff so I just set it up on blue turned it off turned it on and also you can say to Siri to turn on the lights and it will turn on the lights which is pretty cool to do also here you can slide it to put it on the percentage how bright the light is also you can add the hue bridge as a widget on your iOS 10 uh, device so I just remove it and then add it back on so you guys can see I just added it it says setup but then you will remember it so just setting up as a widget and You can change the button 
over there so it just changes when you press on the widget so when we go to the widget we just press it it turns off and then when you press it again it turns on etc and it's really cool thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace